Welcome back, Burgundine enthusiasts. I want to welcome you to this video. This video is going to be an element advantage guide. And this is going to go over why certain orbs have better elements uh, advantages than the others and uh, what you can look forward to. So let's talk about this today. Let's just uh, read this uh, page here a bit. Start up at the top. It says uh, classes, skills, magic, and equipment often have elemental effects. The elements are represented by five colors with different advantages and disadvantages when fighting against certain enemies. So, you can see it shows uh, advantage, disadvantage, uh, all the orbs that point to which color. Basically red is going to be green, and green is going to be blue, and blue is going to be red. And then the, uh, the purple and white orbs, they kind of beat each other. So, let's uh, read a little bit more here. It says, uh, you can see the relationship between red, green, and blue elements in the diagram on the left. Attacks cause more or less damage depending on the attack element and the target's defense element. Now, just remember where it said that. More or less damage. That's important. Okay, let's look at the next uh, sentence here. It says, uh, when your attack element is the same as the enemy's defense element, the effects are negated. Okay, all right, so what you're looking at on the left there is a little sword in red, a uh, little icon, and it shows three red orbs attached to it, attached uh, next to that, and uh, it's going to attack a creature or a knight with a shield, so their defense is three red orbs, and so the effects are negated because they, they balance out, you know, they equal out because the elements are the same element from the attacker to the defender, and there's the same number of orbs there, too. So let's look ahead here. It says uh, attacks without an element are affected by the number of orbs, but not element color of the orb. So if we're looking at this, it says that um, basically if you have three red orbs and the enemy has no orbs, you will have a little bit more of an advantage attacking them than you would so uh, without any orbs attached to your attack. Okay, so let's look at the next page here. It says weak effect and strong effect. Okay, and you see how the, uh, the weak effect shows two red orbs for the lizard man and the strong effect has three red orbs for the lizard man. Okay. Now, it says here, the strength of elemental damage depends on the number of colored orbs. So that's important. In a unit's possession, if both units have red orbs, then a unit with three red orbs will have more of an effect on damage than a unit with only two. Okay? Now, what you're looking at here, if you look at the, uh, the little diagram down on the bottom, it shows the attacking element, and you're going to see that with a sword with red coloring in the background as far as the icon goes. The fence element is going to have a shield with blue coloring in the background as far as its icon goes. And so when you're matching up a monster against another monster, you have to look at what you're going to do to them, but you have to look at what you're going to do with your attacking orbs versus their defending orbs. That's the important key. So it says here, each unit is affected by two slots an attack element for dealing damage and a defense element for defending units or for defending units can equip up to nine elements in each slot okay well let's, let's look at this page here class elements each knight class or monster has its own element changing a unit's class will also change its element more advanced classes may add more orbs of the same element or even a different element Elemental orbs associated with a unit's class are equipped to both attack and defensive slots. So if you have something like a, a uh, mermaid, they are going to have an attack orb of blue and a defense orb of blue. Same thing goes for a phoenix. They're going to have an attack orb of red and a defense orb of red. So on and so forth. This goes for knights and, uh, and uh, other types of uh, human units too. So, let's look ahead here. Weapon elements. Weapons are associated elements. Or, sorry, weapons are assigned elements. When a weapon is equipped, the element orbs are assigned to a unit's attack element slot. Armor is also assigned elements. 
When armor is equipped, the element orbs are assigned to a unit's defense slot. Some accessories can affect both attack and defense elements. Now, some armor pieces and some attack pieces do not have element slots to them. So just to take that as a note here, let's move on to the next page. Okay, let's check out this page here. And so I'm just going to go over this very quickly. It says set your attack element to one that has an advantage over the enemy's defensive element in order to deal greater damage. And you can see how an attack element on the left and what it's going to do to uh, various defense elements and scenarios on the right. And so a very easy way to look at this is that um, basically orbs will give you plus 4% or plus 2% depending upon what you're doing. 2% uh, is just kind of the average. 4% is for an advantage over another element. And so we're just going to look at this and just add up some numbers here. So if we look at white versus uh, blue, white doesn't beat blue. But um, if white were to attack a uh, elemental slot that had no orbs in it, we would just have to add 2% each way. So one white orb would be 2%, another one would be another 2, adding up to 4, and a third orb would be up to 6% you know, versus a blue orb uh, uh, defense that has three blue orbs, which would be two, two, and two. So two, four, and six minus another six would just make it pretty much nothing. So, you know, it would just kind of equal out there. But if we look at uh, the attack element of the triple orbs versus the one purple orb, you can basically see that uh, we're going up to from 100 damage up to 116 damage, and that's because we're adding 4% for each orb that's going to attack the next orb. So what we're looking at is uh, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus the fourth orb of the purple orb there would be, what, 16. So 116 damage, right? Okay, so we look at the, uh, the damage modifier of the triple white orbs attacking a quadruple purple orb defense. And so if you add those numbers up, you get 28. So 4, 4, and 4 of the white orbs would be 4, 8, and 12, plus another 12, which would be 24, which you add another 4 points to the 24, and you get 28. So essentially, you're just adding up percentages. This is just an easy way to look at it and to just kind of understand what's going on. But can you get negative modifiers? Yes, you can in a game. And we'll go over that in a second, but I hope this kind of helped you out to kind of see what you're looking at here. Advantages is usually 4% plus, and um, plus and minus uh, percentages for advantages or disadvantages is uh, usually about 2%. So you're really just adding another 2% or another 4% on top of it to see what the extra damage that you can do or the damage that you um, will fail to do because you're attacking a, a creature, a knight, a monster, whatever, that uh, is strong against your elemental advantages. So let's go on to the next page here. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Okay, so what it says here too is uh, element correlation. Attacking with a favorable element deals more damage. Red is weak to blue. Blue is weak to green. Green is weak to red. Black and white are weak against each other. Okay. Cumulative effect of elements. An element's strength is determined by how many of that color you have. The higher the number, the higher the damage. This applies to both damage dealt and damage taken. No element bonus. The damage you deal will be increased if your unit has more element orbs equipped than their target. Okay, so here I'm going to give you some screenshots. It's about uh, four screenshots, and you're going to see a damage difference when this bomb out here, this Mana Miracle bomb out, is attached, is going to breath attack a Mana Miracle Seraph here, and you're going to see that the damage is actually going to go down because the Seraph is going to get equipped with more white orbs than before. So the Seraph, you can see, is starting with three defensive white orbs, and the uh, Balmont is doing a breath attack with three white orbs. Now, there is no extra orbs included in its Calamity breath, so we don't have to worry about that. But we are looking at three white orbs attacking 
three white defensive orbs. And you can see that the damage there uh, for the hit points of the Seraph is going to um, be equated down to 337. So its hit points were going to be at 486 and it will go down to 337. So that's how much damage it'll do. Let's check out some of these picks here and see what happens when the Seraph adds more white defensive orbs. Okay, so you can kind of see that, not by much, but it did make the angel a little bit more defensive against an attack because of this extra orb. See, there's four orbs now with the Seraph on its defense. And the bomb mod still has three offensive orbs. So the Seraph is a little better protected now. Now let's see what happens. We add an extra orb for its defense here. Now you can actually see that with even more orbs attached to it, the Seraph is taking less damage now than it was before. So it's actually becoming a negative factor to attack this monster with the same element. You're actually getting negative damage because the Seraph has more white orbs and is defending against the attacking white orbs better because it has more orbs to defend from. So having more orbs of that same color and uh, being attacked from that exact same color will help you defend against an attacker a little bit better. Now, let's move on to the last picture and just uh, see what happens if we add, I don't know, six orbs. Okay, so now we can see that with six orbs, you can see that the, uh, the damage is significantly less than it could have been. And um, so really just the point of this is just to say that uh, if you want to defend better against a particular element, uh, monster or knight, just keep stacking those same color orbs and uh, you'll be better protected against damage from that particular knight. Um, I could mention a particular knight named uh, maybe Rudo, Rudo from uh, MSD, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you'll be better defended, you know, with more orbs in your defensive positions. Although, if you got attacked by something with a black element, uh, that could probably hurt a bit more. So this is just uh, a, a guide for this, a guide for the element advantage. And I hope you enjoyed. You know, I'm going to leave some links down below for the particular people that uh, put up some uh, PDFs and some files to share some real intricate uh, details as far as how the elements and orbs work. But the 2 and 4% uh, is basically just kind of like a, a mental thing that I use to try to figure some of this out. And so far, so good. So this was my guide for you. I hope this helped. And uh, if it did, please leave some likes. Leave some comments down below. Uh, let me know if I could improve on some of these kinds of videos. And uh, I will talk to you in the next guide video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions or anything like that, definitely leave that down below too. I will get back to you and uh, we'll continue from there. And uh, if you want to see another video where I did a, a, a numerous amount of extensive tests uh, with, uh, you know, attacking and, uh, you know, calculating orbs and damage and stuff like that, I can leave a video for that if people want to see that. I'll probably leave an unlisted video, but I'd like, I'd like to have some people... Uh, ask me for that so that in case they want to see it I can do it because I still have the video but um, you know that'll be for people that want to kind of see the damage more <laughs> you know see see what happens with the attacks of uh, the elements and all that uh, in full detail so anyways I will let you go thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video Victorious, sire!